You're listening to the Culips English podcast. To download the study guide for this episode, which includes the transcript, detailed vocabulary explanations, real-world examples, and a quiz, visit our website culips.com. C U L I P S dot com. Hello, everybody. My name is Andrew. And I'm Jeremy, and you're listening to Culips. What's up, Jeremy? How are you? Good. How are you today? I'm doing very well, Jeremy. And today, actually, I was thinking about what we could record for today. I was trying to brainstorm some ideas for recording today, and I was making some notes. I was writing some notes down, and I looked at my handwriting, and I was appalled. <laughs> like, oh, so bad. <laughs> I was really appalled at my chicken scratch. Chicken scratch, bad handwriting, right? Yeah, we call bad handwriting chicken scratch. Like a chicken scratching on the ground. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Funny. And that gave me the inspiration to talk to you today about drawing. We won't、mm. talk about handwriting, but we're going to talk about drawing. Drawing. Okay. Yeah. And so today we'll do a simplified speech episode. And simplified speech is the Culip series where we have. Totally natural conversations, Jeremy. You and I are going to speak without a script today. No script. No script. Scriptless. But we will speak a little bit slower than we do in our everyday lives. And just before we start talking about drawing, I want to let everyone know that the study guide for today's episode is available to download to all Culips members. On our website, culips dot com. So head on over to culips dot com to get the study guide right now. Do it right now. <laughs> okay, Jeremy, drawing. Drawing. Yeah, this is. Something that comes naturally to some people,、yeah. I think, and for other people, like me, it's almost impossible. I <laughs> am terrible at drawing. What about you? Um, it depends what kind of of drawing we're talking about.、Mm -hmm. Um, I wouldn't say I'm terrible, but I'm definitely not good. <laughs> um, I I can draw things so that people know what I'm drawing. Okay, I'll put it like that. Okay, some of my most embarrassing moments teaching English <laughs> have come when I'm trying to teach vocabulary. Could be a noun or a concept or something like that. You know. And I get the idea that oh, I can just draw it on the board for my students, and then I go up to the board and I draw something, and they laugh at me. They're like, "Andrew, that is terrible," and we're more confused now <laughs> than <laughs> than before. Very basic things, like if you ask me to draw a house or.、Um, A car, or something like this. I could maybe draw a、mm. rough outline, but anything else is just terrible. <gasps> Funny. I actually learned something similar when I was teaching English.、Uh, I still teach English, but not in front of a whiteboard, so I can't draw things. But In my classes before, I used to draw things on the board, and、uh, especially animals. Animals were very embarrassing. <laughs> Anything with four legs, 
always looked like a dog. <laughs> no matter what animal I was drawing, they all looked like dogs. <laughs> That's really funny. All the same outline, no matter if it was a tiger or an elephant, they all just yeah. ended up looking like dogs. Yes. <laughs> But, you know, I think drawing requires a lot of patience、mm -hmm. and especially patience with yourself、mm. and being comfortable with your mistakes. My brother is. Uh, an artist and he works in、uh, design.、Mm -hmm. So he is always drawing characters and he also makes 3D models of them. Wow. In the computer, 3D design.、Mm -hmm. So、uh, he has taught me about、uh, some drawing concepts, but、uh, to your point about Some people naturally being good at drawing.、Mm -hmm. uh, to that point, I would say that is true because my brother was very interested in drawing at a very young age.、Mm -hmm. And he didn't really study any, anything until he was an adult. So, yeah, that is really interesting. I think. If you have an interest in drawing, some kids doodle all the time, right? And、mm -hmm. you can develop a skill. Actually, maybe this is one of the few skills that you can develop over time without really realizing it. It doesn't feel、mm. like practice to some people. Yeah.、Uh, especially because as students, we have to sit in the classroom for so long, right? You can just doodle while you listen to the teacher. And if you do that from elementary school to high school, if you have some natural、wow. talent, that's a lot of practice. <laughs> yeah. That builds up. Many years. Many years. So that's interesting. But yeah, one day I would like to draw. Of course, I think everybody wants to be good at everything. And I realize this is an impossible dream, but it would be one day nice to be able to draw a picture and people. At least can recognize it. Did you ever take art classes in school?、Um, no, I never took an art class that I remember.、Um, of course, in elementary school, we have arts and craft classes, but not specifically for drawing. Although,、uh, I do remember as a child taking books out from the library that were drawing books. So they would show、yeah. you how to draw. A fire、uh, truck, or show you how to draw a cartoon character's face, this kind、uh, of thing. I remember those. Yeah. I had those also. <laughs> But I remember cheating and just tracing. <laughs> I used to hold the book up to my patio door window、mm. so that the light would come <laughs> through the page and I could trace the outline easily. And then I would be really proud of myself and show my mom, like, hey, look, I drew Mickey Mouse. But it's perfect. <laughs> it was just tracing. So maybe because I cheated back in the day, this is why I can't draw now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just a form of practice,、mm -hmm. sort of like training wheels on a bicycle.、Mm -hmm. I used to trace things a lot also.、Uh -huh. But maybe that leads eventually to some basic skills that you can use to draw other things. Maybe. Jeremy, you have such a, a positive way of seeing the world. <laughs> I like your attitude. <laughs> I'm glad.、Uh, I'm glad I can be positive. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Keep up the positivity. Thank you. Well, I think. We will leave it at that for today. I want to know are you a good drawer? Are you good at art? Send me an email. Send Jeremy an email too. The best way to do that is through our email address, which is contact at culips.com. Maybe you could even take a picture of your artwork 
and send it to us. That would be really cool. We want to see it. Yes, we want to see <laughs> the goods. <laughs> also, our website is qlips.com. It's a place where you can get study guides for all of our episodes. So if you want to take your studies to the next level with us, please visit qlips.com. And we're on social media, Facebook and Twitter. You can find us by doing a Google search for Qlips Podcast. That is it for us for now, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye. Have you signed up for the Culips newsletter? You can receive updates on all the latest episodes, tips about learning English, and special Culips offers delivered directly to your inbox for free. To join, just visit culips.com and enter your email address at the bottom of the page.